Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Today, we're going to talk about something called logic. Okay? Let's have this little talk about logic, shall we? Um, <clears throat> according to the logic of the people in the comment section, and let's take a look at some of these wonderful things that people are saying about me here. Screen share here. Um... I mean, you guys have got to learn some things. When you say something on somebody else's channel and you leave a comment on somebody else's channel, that those things are, like, you know, subject for everyone to see. So, oops, I don't want to start that video. You guys are already mad at me, but these comments are, are rather hilarious. Um, hmm. Let's find Gambler here. According to Gambler, he says... You're making, okay, you're making this look very badly on yourself. Why can't you just say I did nothing about this child abuse when it occurred and had time to reflect and realize that it was wrong to do nothing? So here, I'm serving out my penance by attempting to make up for my inaction in the past. What can I do to help those who have already acted on that little girl's behalf. And that's what Gambler has said on his video. Gambler didn't even watch the video in question. So then there's, um, you know, Robert Dupree, no one supports abortion. Um, uh, what is supported is a woman's right to choose. Hmm, very interesting by Robin Dupree, in case you don't know who that is, that's this wonderful person right here with the tiara on her head. Um, then there's, let's see here. I wanna find some more of these wonderful comments people are making on here with their logic. Joe Murray says, G-Man, before you get completely pwned, and trust me, in this video, that is exactly what is going to happen. No, G-Man, in your mind, in your mind, uh, that is what's going to happen in this video. Uh, that did not happen. Then we go to read more, and he says, you shot yourself in the foot with the holy thinking pride and arrogance. You're a self-centered, arrogant, egotistical view of yourself. And so, what the heck does I got to do with the video, Joe? I mean, seriously. I mean, can, can you people stay on topic? Let's review what I actually said in the video, shall we? Let me just get this screen share off here. Okay? Let's review what was said in the video and what the main idea of the video was, because apparently you guys didn't learn that when you went to school. Okay? The main idea of the video was this. I had a very small amount of atheists saying that I was wrong, I'm sorry, that, that I was wrong and immoral for not saying something on the phone when it happened. That is one thing I said in the video. The other thing I said in the video was is I was on the phone. I could not visually see what was happening. And I didn't know for certain what actually happened. I have my ideas, but I, I, you know, there, there, there's nothing on my screen here. You know what I mean? I'm on the phone. You, you guys do get the concept of a phone, don't you? You, you know, you do this. You're not by a computer. You know, you're talking to somebody. I mean, you guys can't be that. Oh boy, that's why I entitled this "Atheist Left Naked" too, because if you see an atheist uh, left naked one, you'll totally understand why I'm going this route. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh, man, you guys are some funny, funny, funny people. I, I I thank God for Google Hangouts because I can screen share and I can show videos and I can show you guys what you say and what you don't say anything about. No, I'm not going to screen share what Alex Botton did on this channel and none of you said anything. Therefore, you support it. Therefore, you're wrong. Well, that's right, I can't because he kind of took it down off his channel, I think. Hmm... But because I didn't say nothing right then and there, according to your wacky logic, I'm guilty of what the Son of Man did, or rather, I'm 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 immoral because I didn't say nothing right then and there because I was focused on what my phone call was about, and I didn't have attention attention deficit disorder going all over the place when I'm making a phone call about this man blaspheming my Lord. Then you wonderful people in the chat. You know, I I go in the chat, you know, I'm a little sarcastic, and then I put like 553 there, where I specifically say, guess what? This is not for all atheists. What happens? One second, guys. One second. One second. Hold up.
So, what do you guys do, right? 553, I said this is not for all atheists. Duh! It's not for all atheists. It was for uh, 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 about three or four people that made some comments about me in the chat. You can't see it in the chat because I organize my settings where certain words cannot be used. If you use my name, you're, you're not going to show up in the chat. If you cuss and use certain profanity, you're not going to show up in the chat anymore. I will not approve those, um, those comments. Okay? So let's talk about your logic. Not mine. What about your logic? Not mine. Your logic says, because I didn't say nothing right then and there, that that somehow makes me immoral. Hmm. Now I'm going to talk about the entire atheist community, okay? How many of you who watched, no, maybe it's not all of you, who watched Alex Botton's Hangout, saw the porn, how many video responses did you make telling him how much of a, a bad person he was, how you was going to unsubscribe to him because that was bad because of what he did? No, instead he's making a video thanking all of you for giving him 2,000 subscribers. On Saturday, I will be having a Google Hangout on my channel on this very topic. We, we, we will be talking about um, phone call to the son of man and what you thought I should have did when I didn't know it happened until I hung up the phone and got in the chat. But I'm wrong because I didn't say nothing enough. Anyway, uh, anyway, you guys are claiming you got more degrees. You guys are the ones claiming you all you got all this brains and everything. You guys are the ones claiming all that. Not me. I don't claim I got 50 million degrees. And I'm going to hold you to every last one of them. I'm going to hold you to all the comments you're leaving in the chat except for evidence for you because I've already talked to him and he realizes how silly he sounded. There's a misunderstanding. You people are just, oh, G-Man, is immoral, G-Man. <laughs> Come on, guys, seriously, use your brain. God gave it to you for a reason. <laughs> Think. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm convinced you guys are doing this because you want some drama. Your life is boring. You're tired of talking about science. You're tired of talking about biology and evolution, and trust me, I'm with you. I believe it's boring, too. Cosmology is very boring. Nobody wants to sit around in a Google Hangout for 10 hours talking about that stuff. Let's create some artificial drama that has nothing to do with what I said or what I did. Now, let's talk about the actual video footage that you guys actually watched. Why did G-Man show that video footage? I showed that video footage for the people who was criticizing me, which is about three to four people. All of them are male. Hint, 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 hint. All of them are male. Okay? And they're leaving comments that you guys can't see because of the, you know, the settings on my channel and whatnot. Um... Oh, Jerry, man, you're, you're, you should have said something. You're so immoral. I'm immoral. No, those are fighting words to me. Those are fighting words to me. Okay, you're going to say to me that I'm immoral because I didn't say nothing right then and there? Oh, God, this is going to be by far. Unless you guys admit that you're wrong, this will be the easiest hangout I've ever had in my life. And I'm going to make sure I get as many of you as possible who's actually commenting in the chat. If you have the guts, Gambler, Fiona, Gretchen, you guys think I'm wrong? Feel free to come here on Saturday and give me your intellectual reason why I'm wrong and not your emotional reasons why I'm wrong. I will be more than prepared. There's another individual who left a scripture. Uh, I think he was suggesting that God supports abortion. He seems to be a scholar. I want to talk to him too. I'm sure myself back on some other people would love to hear his biblical expertise on the passage of scripture that he was talking about. We would love to be able to hear it. And if Veckel can't make it, I would gladly do it on my own. Okay? So, you can keep bringing it. You can keep lying in the chat, acting like you're telling the truth about half halfway information. You don't know what you're talking about. And I'm going to get a good giggle out of reading your comments. And since all of you seem to be uneducated about this wonderful topic of abortion, since all of you seem to be illogical, when it comes to uh, using your logic, I'm going to spend the next week, 
Well, I don't know about the full week. Yeah, that might be a waste of time. I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about this. Because you guys crack me up. You guys are such hypocrites. It's not even funny. If I don't say nothing, I'm immoral. You don't say nothing, you're not immoral. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. And I want to hear you publicly. Uh, I want to see you unsubscribe to Alex Botton for, for, for the pornography he put on his channel. Then I want to hear you publicly ask other atheists to leave him alone. I mean, unless you think it's all subjective anyway, which will make my job really, really, really easy. <laughs> really, really, really easy. Okay, so guys, keep being emotional. Oh, by the way, before I end this broadcast, let me um go see what some of you are saying because I'm pretty sure the you know you guys ain't working with a full deck right now. Let me see. Um Uh, Tim Bostic, I will gladly debate you on one-on-one -on -one when I get time, uh, depending depending if you're not one of these kids that's going to show you behind on um, on camera. You're going to have to make a video and show me that you're a real person or something, because I'm sorry, sir. Um, simply saying you want to debate me one-on-one -on -one ain't going to be enough. You know, I'm getting a little bit tired of people showing up on my channel and showing their behind. You got to show me you're a real person. Okay, so. There it is, guys. This is my my response to all the comments that I'm reading in the chat. If your ch if your comment is not visible for anyone to see, then that means you use words you shouldn't have been using. Okay, you know how I feel about that. Okay, I went to my uh, settings and I said, okay, I don't want none of these words being said. My name can't be used. None of this stuff can be said. The rules will be in advance, so all of you know about the hangout that's going to be coming. No cussing, no trolling. You use my name. That is a automatic ejection and permanently banned from coming to any more of my Google Hangouts, even if you create a sock account. If I hear a voice that even sounds similar to you, I will punish the other atheists for, for what you did, and I won't let them in there because I don't know if you're, if you're him. A lot of you like to come in here, you don't show your face. As a matter of fact, I don't want nobody coming into the Hangout tomorrow on Saturday if they can't show their face. You're going to start showing your face when you come into the Hangout so I can know who you are, get you to your voice, in case you decide to do that, get kicked out and then say you don't care, and try to come back in with a sock account. Just want to make sure. And I'm, I'm, and I'm looking to make an example out of somebody. So like I said, it's all good. Somebody's got an intellectual reason on, on why I shouldn't have put those images on my channel, and you give me a good, a good intellectual reason, I'll take the video down. Or I'll edit it. I'll edit that part out. You give me a good intellectual reason why showing people why killing babies is wrong. I will take the video down. It's that simple. You know. Uh, I think I covered everything. Hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you guys may continue with the blasphemy. You may continue with the character um, deformation, and you may continue with the lies that you guys spread on a regular basis. And uh, one more thing, a little advice for those of you who are atheists: you're hell bound, and you need the Lord Jesus Christ. Read your Bible, and do what it says. God bless.